Hey everyone, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the books that I feel like I might want to read during the winter, but I'm not going to hold myself to it because then I'll just feel bad when I don't read these books. Like, you already know how this goes. You've seen this before. Now that I'm sitting here, like, looking at myself, I don't know if I like this shirt for this video. Well, I don't feel like changing, so we're just going to leave it. Um, anyways, I have five books that I want to talk about in this video. The first one I'll talk about is Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. I think if I do actually end up reading this book, it'll be during the month of December because I'm participating in the Buzzword Challenge and the challenge for December is to read a book with a like a season word or like a day of the week word or like a month word or whatever. So I went with season and did Winterwood. So if I do it'll be this one or it might be my next one since it has winter in the title as well i don't know i haven't really decided but anyways i got this in like november last year maybe or the year before in an owl crate box so it is fantasy but i think this one is like um light fantasy i don't remember what this book is about so now i have to go read about it <laughs> okay something about this girl who lives in this town who's supposedly a witch i think she is a witch but like her family has like this connection to the woods like on the edge of the town but everybody else is like those woods are sus like somebody comes out of the woods one night and they're all like you know i don't know that's confusing and i'm sorry but i'm confused we also have the winter people by jennifer mcmahon i bought this at the beginning of this year and i still haven't read it anyways it's a horror and it's about this family who like i think they either move to this house or they're just there to like visit um but then like creepy shit starts happening and they like discover like this journal that belonged to somebody who lived there in like the 1800s and like they read it and like a bunch of like messed up shit happened in the 1800s but like history is starting to repeat itself or something like that. I don't know. One of my favorite booktubers read this at the beginning of the year and I was like I just I just need to read it. I have to have it so I went and bought it but I guess I just saved it for now. The next book is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Sorry I don't have like an actual cover for this book so I'm just holding up a blue book. Who knows, but I might mess around and read a classic this year. Like, that never happens. Um, I've tried to read this so many times. Like, I've had this book for maybe seven years, close to seven years, and I haven't read it. I've only ever made it up to, like, 40 pages. One reason I haven't read this was because I was, like, 14, and I didn't care that much. Um, but then, like, the next couple times I tried to read it, like, I just maybe i just didn't get it i don't know but i've really been wanting to watch the movie like both movies the one from 94 and the one from however many years ago that was like two years ago and i think i've just always just been scared that i won't like it and i think that's the case with most classics that i feel like i want to read i'm like i'm just scared that i won't like it um, but I'm also scared that it's gonna go over my head because I'm dumb. So yeah, I don't know. I might mess around and read Little Women for like actual this time. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna hold myself to it. The next one that I would like to read is Shiver by Junji Ito. This is a horror manga. It's a collection of short stories. I think there's like seven in here. I guess shiver because that's like a cold word and winter is cold and that's why I picked this. But I've never read anything by Junji Ito. I have this and I have Tomi. But I'm very excited. Um, I've never read manga before either. So I'm very excited to try it out. I'm sure I'm going to like it. Like can't wait for this. I'm probably going to like split this up. Like not sit here and read the whole thing in one go. So like I'll read one short story. Read something else. Come back to it. I think that's the plan for this one. So for the last book I kind of just like picked it. Like on a whim because I'm like, I was sitting here looking at my TBR pile and I was like, I need a romance on here. This whole year I've spent like policing my reading to be like, don't read as much romance. But like, that's all I want to read. So I just picked a romance and I chose The Bride Test by Helen Huang. This one I've been thinking about reading for a few weeks now. Like when I'm trying to figure out what I want to read, I'm like, maybe I'll read The Bride Test. But then I don't. So I don't know. I guess I'll just put this one on here for 
shits and giggles, I guess. Um, but this one is the second book in the companion series. Um, the first one was The Kiss Quotient. I read that one earlier this year, but this one follows, I can't remember his name, Kai. I think his brother was the love interest in The Kiss Quotient, otherwise they're cousins. I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure they're brothers. Um, but he has autism and his mom is afraid that like he's never gonna find somebody he's never gonna get married and have kids and like start a family so she goes back to Vietnam to find him a wife I think this is like multiple perspectives so like we're also following um I don't know her name I'm sorry um Esme we're also following Esme like she's trying to like not necessarily seduce this man, but, like, she's trying to seduce this man, but she doesn't think that he could ever love her, like, the way that his mother wants him to. So, this should be interesting. Like, I love The Kiss Quotient. That one was, like, it's one of my favorite books that I've read this year, so I'm, I've got, a uh, high hopes for this one. So, those were all of the books on my winter TBR, all the books that I feel like I want to read. Um, I did this sort of video for the fall, like books that I felt like I want to read during the fall. I put I put more books on the, on that list than I did on this one, but I was feeling more ambitious then. That's why there's not as many books on this. I am proud to say though, the last time I did this, I actually did read like three or four books off of my list of books. Like, even if it wasn't all of them, like I still read some of them. Like, that never happens. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what is a book on your winter TBR that you are most excited for. I will have my Instagram and my Goodreads linked down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!